And Twitter's board is poised to hand over the keys of the social media site to Elon Musk. But as it works out the final details of the $44 billion sale, many are left wondering about the future of Twitter and the potential impact on how Americans communicate. Yeah, so here to talk more about that is Addie Robertson. She's a senior reporter at The Verge. In her new article, she talks about the impact of this purchase and, you know, what's missing from the promises Elon Musk is making about free speech on Twitter. Welcome, Addie. It's so great to have you with us. So now that Twitter is going private, what does this mean, you know, not only for the employees of the company, that's one part of the story, but for the millions of users on the platform, should we expect to see changes immediately? We definitely shouldn't expect to see changes immediately. The deal is expected to take around six months. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, there are a huge number of open questions. We don't know who is, who is going to lead Twitter under Musk's ownership. We don't necessarily know how much hands-on control he's going to have over the product. And he's made generally a sort of loose set of priorities that he wants to implement moving forward. But we don't totally know what those look like yet. So far, they're centered around what he describes as making Twitter more amenable to free speech and on fighting bots and scams on the platform. Well, on that point, Musk has, uh, you know, say this is a big priority all about free speech here, and he even wants to invite President Trump back to the social media platform. So does this mean the moderation policies that ban those violent threats, the harassment, the spam, will those be null and void? It seems very unlikely that he's going to completely unwrite all of Twitter's policies just because it turns out that's an almost unfeasible way to run mm. absolutely any social media site. Even the sites that tout themselves as being completely free speech sites end up discovering that it just creates a really hostile user experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The question is just how much they're going to calibrate these decisions and where they're going to draw lines around, say, what constitutes a violent threat. Right. It's interesting because you make the point. Nobody knows what free speech means to Elon Musk. He keeps talking about free speech, but free speech doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's always calibrated and there's always, you know, borders drawn. So it'd be interesting to see what he thinks it means. Um, but what will all of this mean for Twitter's employees? Is Musk planning to wipe the slate clean, do you think, or just make minor changes when it comes to the company and the employees? Based on the what's been said, said out of an all-hands meeting, there aren't going to be any short-term layoffs. There has been a partial freeze on rolling out new features just as it transitions ownership. And there are open questions about what taking it private will mean for Twitter employees who own stock. Um, but at this point, we're just still waiting to see even who would lead Twitter under mm -hmm. uh, as the new CEO if its current CEO leaves. It's going to be a wild ride. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of questions still unanswered. All right, Addie Robertson, thank you very much.